Good morning, children. So glad to see you here this morning. Today we're going to talk a, a tale about four people named everybody, somebody, anybody, and nobody. There was an important job to be done. Everybody was sure that somebody would do it. Anybody could have done it, but nobody did it. Somebody got angry about that because it was everybody's job. Everybody thought anybody could do it, but nobody realized that anybody wouldn't do it, and so it ended up that everybody blamed somebody, and when nobody did it, anybody could have done it. I don't want to be like these four, do you? Be true to yourself. Take responsibility for your actions. Don't let somebody, anybody nobody or everybody keep you from doing what you need to do to be a true son or daughter of God. Committing to doing what is right takes your personal responsibility and it involves action. You're not too young to know that you, if you want things to have the right outcome, you have to make the right choices. You have to make choices that show you are a child of God. Taking action is good advice and it gets to the heart of our little story Everybody, somebody, anybody could have acted and completed the job, but nobody did it. The Roman sentinel that Mr. Allen's going to speak about today was given a job. He committed to do his job to the best of his abilities. He made the commitment to others, and they trusted him to get that job done. He stayed at his post even when his life was in jeopardy. You have to listen to find out what happened with him. We're told in Proverbs 16.3, commit your plans and decisions to the Lord, and under his guidance, you will succeed. Have you made a personal commitment to do your best work through the strength Jesus gives you? My daddy was a Marine, and we had kind of a joke in our house that when dad said jump, we asked how high, not why. When your parents ask you to do a job, don't procrastinate. Act quickly without complaining. The King James Bible tells us in Colossians 3, 23 and 24, And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men, knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance, for ye serve the Lord Christ. Let's hear that same verse from the clear word paraphrase. Whatever you do, give your heart into it as if you were employed by the Lord Jesus Christ, not by a fellow human being. The Lord will reward all of his people by giving them their rightful wages when the proper time comes. In reality, you're working for him, whether you realize it or not. Jimmy. Jimmy was a delightful little boy. He was so full of fun and enthusiasm for life. His desk was often right up by the teachers so he could focus on his classwork instead of visiting others. When art class came, he would draw pictures, pictures with heart, heart steps, heart windows, hearts on the clothesline, heart smoke out of the chimney. Jimmy was just full of love. He often gave those pictures to his teacher. Sometimes he spent his whole recess gathering spiders in his empty milk carton. He just loved to give his teacher surprises. Jimmy was in second grade, and his brother Mark was in third grade, and they lived with their grandparents in Oregon. During Christmas break, they were both able to visit their mother, who lived in California. After breakfast one morning, Jimmy wanted to have morning worship, and together they talked and read about Jesus and heaven. After prayer, Mother told the boys that she wanted them to help her weed the flower bed out front. Mark said, sure, and he jumped up and he ran to get ready. Jimmy said that he needed to take care of something, and he'd be there in a few minutes. Mark and Mother went to gather their supplies they would need for weeding. In the meantime, Jimmy wanted to surprise his mother. As soon as she left the room, he grabbed his coat and his boots. He put them on. He raced outside the back door, jumped on his bicycle, and pedaled as fast as he could down the driveway. He knew his mother was going to be so surprised to find him already doing the job she asked him to do. Was Jimmy making good choices? Was Jesus happy with his choices? Sadly, Jimmy's life ended that day. The neighbor backed out their shared driveway and didn't see the little boy on his bike. Jimmy's mother was heartbroken, but she told me later that this experience helped her 
to make a new commitment to do what was right so that she could see her little Jimmy in heaven again. Every day, let us put on the armor of God that we can resist the enemy and make right choices for Jesus is coming back soon to gather us to be with him for eternity. I want to be with him in heaven, don't you? I have a picture for you to take that you can color when you get home about putting on the full armor of God. <laughs>